Yo, 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 guys, what is up, and welcome back to another video. I said to be making another one pretty soon, and here I am. I apologize if it was a little bit too much of a delay, but today what we're going to be talking about is the Conan Funko Pops that I think that would have happened for this year for 2020 San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, as far as I know, I, I'm not sure if any are going to be revealed or are even going to be released for us to be able to get, whether it be a giveaway or for purchase. Normally, these are um, initially they're handed out at the Conan shows at the Spreckles Theater in San Diego during San Diego Comic-Con but with this virtual con happening I don't think that it's gonna happen so today what what I decided to do was I decided to make a list of four pops that I thought could have been made for this year or would have been cool to see been made for this year and handed out at the show as I had done online uh, I know recently Nerd Therapy had come out with uh, their version of this video which kind of inspired me to do it so if you haven't seen it go check it out they came up with some pretty cool concepts and pretty cool designs and it's not just like the simple conan normal head swap that we see with some of the conan pops like they took their time and they actually put effort into it and it because um the concepts that they made had required to actually change the color of the face or add things to the face like face paint or something like that because uh the ones that they made four of my favorites that they had made was uh one of them was from american psycho one was uh gene simmons from kiss one was uh i think it was luke skywalker with a little uh baby yoda conan on his back and then the last one um was uh, Jack Nicholson's Joker, and I think that one looks really cool. Like if I, if I could only choose one out of the ones that they had put out, I would choose that one to be made because that's just like a real cool design, a real cool concept. But I thought today, you know what? I should show you guys what I came up with. Uh, I spent a little bit of time making this. It was pretty fun to do, and you know, hopefully one day we can see like these actually come out. So up first, what I have come up with and what I think would be a cool Conan that would have been revealed for this year is uh, Kylo Ren Conan. You know. So far, they've been following a theme somewhat uh, that just in general, they'll keep up with what's popular that year, what came out the year before, or just in general, what's relevant within pop culture. But as, as we've seen from past releases, they've always done kind of a Star Wars themed Conan. Uh, one of them, I think it was like him in Jedi robes. One was like, I think... Uh, a TIE Fighter Conan, I'm not too sure, but uh, we haven't really seen a Sith Conan. I think it would be a, a, real, a real cool thing to see Conan as Kylo Ren, so n nothing too different other than uh, I would actually like for them to change up the eyebrows and have the scar onto his face rather than it just be, you know, just a normal head swap. Because, uh, in my opinion, I think the cooler Conan variants are when they actually have to change up the face, whether it be adding scars, adding damage, um, adding paint, changing the hair color, uh, just stuff like that. And then up next here we have, which I think is one that would be probably the one that's most wanted throughout that year, which is uh, Conan as Captain America. And this is the mold that was for Cap from Infinity War, or no, not from Infinity War, from Endgame. I think it's the better looking one compared to the two that were released when I had Captain America with um, Mjolnir and uh, his shield. This would definitely be one that I think would be really sought after if it had come out. It's got a little battle damage too on his cheeks. He's got the broken shield and it would also kind of keep up with that theme with them having to do Marvel pops because they've somewhat been uh, keeping up with that recently. I know they did Spider-Man one year and they did Iron Man so it'd be pretty cool to see them do Captain America. Now up next uh at its point for what you're seeing right now on the screen uh it would be conan as number five from the umbrella academy and this is one that people might not agree with or might kind of be confused by but i would just kind of throw that in there because the umbrella academy has their new season coming out this year uh so this was this would be something that would be relevant still within pop culture and within uh, sorry about my phone going off uh, within pop culture and within kind of just what's being hot at the convention there You know there might be a panel there might be a meet-and-greet or something and usually at the Conan shows what they like to do is they would like to Get the cast of a certain movie or show and then sometimes they would theme that pops released for for what panel or what guest they had during that day so having a number five would be pretty cool uh, the, <laughs> the body proportions might be off, but I think it still looks pretty cool and then what would be interesting to see for them to add, which I doubt it would happen, but in my opinion, it would be cool to see, is if they added a chase variant. And if the chase variant was the same as the number, as the normal number five chase variant, where he has his like little hero mask on. And if this were to happen at the actual shows, I know it would be chaos because people would be specifically only wanting to get the chase variant, and they would be like 
bugging the workers, handing them out, like, hey, can I get that one specifically? And then having to hunt it down afterwards would be kind of annoying because even if you don't get it at the show and this was done normally through a giveaway, you would kind of get one shot and you would have to get lucky with that one shot anyways. And rounding out my list here with the final one that I think would look pretty cool, I think this is... In my opinion, even though it's not an official made one, I think this is one of the better looking Conans that could be out there. And this would be Conan as Dracula. Now, I think this would be a good pick because there already is Conan as Frankenstein's monster. You could put these two together. It'd be a real cool pair. This would be one that would not just be like a normal head swap. This could just this could be one where they would have to actually paint up the face, paint up the hair, you know, make it more than just a head swap, which is what I love to see with Conan variants is when they get creative, like how they did with uh, the Hellboy one and with um, the Predator one as well. And I'm a huge horror fan. And I love all the universal monster pops. So this is one that I would definitely go crazy over. So that's going to be my list for what I think would have been the reveals for this year's Conan pops or just kind of my ideas for what could have been this year's uh, concepts for the Conan pops. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know what you guys would like to see uh, be made as a Conan pop if it could be made this year or in the future in general. Let me know if you like what I came up with. Let me know if you think some things could be changed, you know. I'd love to hear feedback from you guys on love engaging in conversations and stuff like that. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe, please. Hit the like and uh, see you guys later.